All right, so now I'm going to show you um, back probed into the left side motor encoder right there into the two signal wires and we're going to look at the signals of the malfunctioning encoder so remember the encoder that was working both signal wires had a zero to roughly five volt square wave all right so we'll turn the key on all right you can see that we both jump up to five volts select drive and hit the throttle now right there, you can see that you have a problem. All right, just go back a little bit. Zoom, zoom in. All right. So now you can see one signal wire has, we'll measure it, as about 80 millivolts on the ground, 100 millivolts on the ground and about four and a half on the peak. And if we look at the other signal wire, you can see that on the low end, we have about I don't think this likes my glove. We have about three and a half volts on the low end and four and a half, 4.6 on the peak. So you can see that one signal wire is not being completely pulled down. That is, cause, that is causing this left side motor encoder fault. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace that sensor and get you, uh, get you another waveform of the repair.